Hello and thanks for joining me. In this episode, I'm going to share Phil's top tips on how to play the offer game to secure the home you want without paying over the odds. If you can prove you are a serious committed buyer, there's a good chance a seller might choose your lower bid over an unreliable buyer with a higher bid. This means having everything in place, your mortgage agreed in principle and a solicitor lined up to start the conveyancing process. So what offer should you kick off with? with. Do your research and know what similar properties are actually selling for locally, downplay the amount of money you're able to spend, and while you don't want to claim it's your dream home as the seller will assume you'll pay more for it, don't play it too cool as they're looking for a sure sale. It's usual to make your first bid 10 to 20% lower than the asking price. Tell the estate agent of your offer, regardless of how low, as they must pass it on to the seller. If the vendor is selling their home privately, inform them directly. In either case, it's essential to put your offer in writing. Having put in a low offer, you should assume it will be rejected, but it's all about letting the seller know you're up for negotiation. But don't just increase your bid if you're effectively bidding against yourself. Ask the estate agent why the initial offer was rejected. Get as much information as you can. If the property takes all the boxes for you, you'll probably want to increase your bid, particularly if there's interest from other buyers, but only if you have more in the budget. On the other hand, if the property has been on the market for a long time, this is good leverage. If there's no other interest, you can just leave your offer on the table and make sure the estate agent is aware you're still interested. You're also in a strong position if you are not in a property chain. If this is the case, the seller may prefer your bid to someone who hasn't yet secured a sale. If no one else is actively trying to buy the house, tell the agent that you want to take some time to think about a second offer. Ensure they understand that every penny counts and this increase is a big deal for you. Only ever offer more than the asking price if you know someone else has offered the asking price or if you are really desperate to get this property. Remember there are more properties out there so be ready to walk away if the seller isn't open to negotiation. It's never a good idea to spend more on a property than it's worth. So good luck with the bidding. Do give us a like and subscribe for more expert tips on moving.